hello guys welcome back to my channel um, now today i'm making a quick and easy raspberry swiss roll please give this video a like i'd really appreciate it and you would be supporting my channel as well now the first thing i did my oven is preheating at 180 degrees um, in my bowl i've just added one cup of regular sugar now to that i'm going to add four eggs And I'm just going to whip this up. Um, I'm going to whip it well until it's nice and stiff um, and increased in volume or doubled in volume. Now, as you can see, uh, my mixture has doubled in volume. So now I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Um, and like I always say, if you do have vanilla extract, um, use vanilla extract. You will get much better um, vanilla or a stronger vanilla taste. Okay, so I'm going to put my mixer aside. Now to my eggs and my sugar, I'm going to whisk in or sift in one cup of cake flour um, so now very gently I'm going to incorporate my flour I'm just going to fold it in um, not to lose any of the key bubbles. Of course, you don't want a light and fluffy Swiss roll. Now, this recipe I've made quite a few times. Um, I've made it once on my channel. That is when I started my channel about a year ago. Um, I can't take credit for this recipe as I found the recipe um, in a very old cookbook that belongs to my mom. Um, it's called the Puka Treats. Okay, so now that my flour has been incorporated, I'm going to sprinkle three teaspoons or 15 moles a tablespoon of baking powder um, and then here i've got a quarter cup of boiling water now i'm going to pour the boiling water um straight on top of my baking powder and as you can see it will cause a bubbling effect and I'll just fold that in. Um, and like I said, gently. Okay, so I've just lined a Swiss roll pan.
Okay, so now into the oven it goes for about 15 minutes. Okay, guys, so if you can hear, hear the ticking sound in the background, that is just my timer on my oven. Now I've dampened a tea towel, just slightly dampened it. Um, I'm just going to flip it over. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some sugar on top. So when the cake comes out of the oven, I'll roll it up um, completely um, while it's sold. Okay, so I just removed my Swiss roll from the oven. Um, as you can see, it was in for about um, 12 minutes. Um, and I'll just remove the paper. Now I'm going to trim the edges. Um, but of course you don't have to do that. Um, and I'll just roll it up. Um, and you'll just leave it covered until it's completely cooled. Okay guys, so while my cake is cooling off, um, I'm just going to prepare my cream. Now in my bowl, I've already added about um, two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I'm also using the sweet whip again. Um, the only reason for adding the powdered, powdered sugar um, is because of the tartness of the raspberries. But if I weren't to make to, or to use raspberries in the cake, um, I will be adding sugar or powdered sugar because it's the sweet work is sweet enough. Also, I've got quite a few um, questions asking me um, if this is a sponsored product because they always see me using it. Um, and the answer is no. I wish. Um, <laughs> so if Danica Sweet Whoop um, happens to see this video and they do would like to sponsor me, because I spend so much money on buying them every time, I'd be a happy girl. Okay, now so in here, I'm, I'm just going to um, add about a cup of cream. Okay, so my cream is nice and thickened up. I'm just going to add about half of this cream to a separate bowl. Um, as you can see, I've got quite some berries. I've got some strawberries, um, some blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. I've already rinsed them. Um, but today I think I'm going to go with this with the raspberry um, filling.
how can I use many raspberries that you choose? You could even do blackberries, um, or strawberries, blueberries. Mm, the choice is yours. So now I'm just going to wait for my Swiss roll to cool down before I fill it. Okay, guys, so my cake has cooled down. I'm just going to unroll it. Unroll it gently. Now just be very careful so your cake doesn't break. So I'm just going to spread my filling. Okay, now you can use your spatula. I'm just going to use a knife. Now if you have some raspberry coolie um, or syrup, it would work um, good as well. Even some raspberry jam. Um, but I'm just using the ingredients that I do have on hand. Um, and I'll just roll it up again. Using my people. Now you want to roll it as tight as um, possible. Okay, so I've just transferred my Swiss roll um, to a serving platter. I'm just going to give it a quick sprinkle or a light sprinkle of powdered sugar. Okay, so now I can leave it as is, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some cream. Um, and I'll just add some raspberries. Um, and I have some milky bar chocolate. I'm just going to squeeze in here and there. And there you go, guys. Quick and easy raspberry and white chocolate vanilla Swiss roll. Please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and if you haven't already. Um, if you would like to see more of my videos, 
click the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos um and i'll see you in the next one bye guys